It's up in the air whether or not Ward 3 will get the traffic signals Ward 3 Councilman Clay Carmichael wants to install in the district. The Selma City Council voted at its last meeting to allow Carmichael to use oil and gas discretionary funds to put up some vintage traffic signals in his district. But Selma Mayor James Perkins Jr. vetoed the vote, saying the council doesn't have the authority to install signals and it interferes with the operations because the signals had not been evaluated or approved by Public Works Department yet. The council tried to override the mayor's veto, but failed to get the two-thirds of the council's votes. The council is researching if the veto by the mayor will stand and will address the issue at a later meeting. These older model signals were donated by the city of Gadsden, but there is a fee to restore them and install them at several intersections. These traffic signals match the current lights, which were built in the 1950s and 60s, but will be modernized with LED lights. Hi, it's Congresswoman Terry Sewell, and I have three words for you. Jobs, jobs, and jobs. Yes, it's that time of year again when we're hosting our annual job fair. This year, it'll be our 11th job fair, and it will take place on Thursday, August 4th in Selma at the Wallace Community College Gymnasium. I hope to see your face in the place. Three words now, jobs, jobs, and jobs.